we introduced new projection mapping techniques under environmental lighting by replacing room lights with heterogeneous projectors. Typical environment lighting globally elevates the scene brightness. Therefore, if projection mapping is performed under it, the dark areas of a projected result inevitably get brighter, which causes significant contrast degradation in the projected result. We overcome this limitation by replacing conventional room lighting with heterogeneous projectors. These projectors replicate environmental lighting by selectively illuminating the scene, excluding the projection target. Typical environment lighting globally elevates the scene brightness. Therefore, if projection mapping is performed under it, the dark areas of a projected result inevitably get brighter. We propose substituting multiple projectors for typical room lights to selectively illuminate the scene, while excluding the projection target, as a means of overcoming the dark environment constraint of projection mapping. Projector-based environmental lighting enables us to avoid undesirable increases in global luminance on the target surface. Consequently, we can mitigate the contrast reduction caused by typical environment lighting. Surrounding of the projection target, we propose the use of a custom projector with a much larger aperture than existing off-the-shelf projectors to illuminate the environmental surfaces surrounding the projection target. Aperture size of a projector affects the emitted ray intensity and the appearance of a shadow. As shown in the left, a standard projector is a point light source producing a high luminance ray and a hard shadow. As shown in the right, the proposed large aperture projector is an area light source creating a low luminance ray and a soft shadow. This shows the difference in shadows created by a standard projector and our large aperture projector. The illumination produced by the standard projector appears to result from directional light, which is inconsistent with common diffuse environmental lighting. In contrast, the illumination produced by the proposed large aperture projector seems to reduce the perception of directional light. We introduce a novel distributed optimization method for multiple projectors that determines the projector pixel values to accurately reproduce the illuminance and chromaticity incident on surfaces under typical luminaires. Leveraging the spatially low frequency nature of environmental lighting, this technique computes pixel values more efficiently than a conventional pixel-wise radiometric optimization framework. Furthermore, this method takes into account the interreflection of projected light between adjacent surfaces. This is the demonstration of our system, the white bus statue positioned on the desk before and during projection mapping of a crack pattern under typical room lighting with LED lights, and then under dark room, and under the proposed environmental lighting using projectors. We substitute multiple projectors for typical room lights to selectively illuminate the scene, while excluding the projection target, as a means of mitigating the reduction in contrast under environmental lighting. Before texture projection, we demonstrate that our method can selectively remove environmental light from the target object, while typical lighting significantly increases the brightness of the target. The projection mapping results demonstrate that our method can manipulate the target's appearance under environmental lighting, while minimizing the intensity elevation in dark areas of the projected texture compared to the typical lighting. We altered the surface material of the target object to a mirror-like glossy material using projection mapping under the same three lighting conditions. The projection mapping result in the proposed method exhibits higher contrast than the typical lighting condition, and the surrounding environment remains visible. As a result, the projected bus statue can be perceived as having a glossy material to the greatest extent under the proposed condition.